Don't upset your brother. Islam put great attention to the gatherings of people. The Prophet وسلم, said, If you are three, two should not converse privately to the ex- exclusion of the other one until you join some other people so that you do not make him sad. This means that if you are in a group of three, two people sh- should not be secretly talking with each other. Otherwise, it will make the third person in the group sad. If there are four people in the group, don't talk secretly amongst yourself, leaving out the fourth person. This is from the proper etiquette that a Muslim should uphold. Take care of people's feelings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Mujadila, Have you not seen those who are forbidden from secret talks, yet they always return to what they were forbidden from, conspiring in sin and aggression? Imam Nawawi said the meaning of secretly conversing means speaking in a language they do not understand. Islam encourages empathy as well as good manners and speech in all gatherings. Islam also forbids everything which may harm, frighten or cause negative or evil thoughts. Two people privately conversing in the presence of a third hurts the feelings of the third person and make, makes him feel sad and undeserving of taking part in their conversation. It also makes him feel ignored and left out. Hence, Islam forbids this kind of private conversation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Mujadila, secret counsels are only from shaitan in order that he may cause grief to the believers but he cannot he cannot harm them in the least except as allah permits and in allah let the believers put their trust